All right, guys. Um, just wanted to do this quick video. I've just finished the Couch to 5K. Um, this was the last run, Alpha 27. Um, but the reason I wanted to do this was more just to explain that for me, it's not really been a physical thing. It's more of a mental thing. And I think anxiety is a lot like this. Um, you know, I've obviously been counselling for 13 years and I've worked with a lot of people with anxiety and similar conditions. And, you know, the Couch to 5K, it gets you to go out and do one minute, one minute, one minute, three minutes, five minutes, and all that. And you build up over the course of nine weeks to be able to run constantly for 30 minutes. Um, and that's kind of, in a way, um, what anxiety is like. Um, you have to sort of pick a starting point that you feel, feel is going to be beneficial in some way, even no matter how small it is. And then you just keep working until you've reached the goal that you picked at the end. But you've got to try and make it small. Um, you know, I've always been a person who starts things and doesn't finish them. So this year, instead of making New Year's resolutions, which I never stick to, I decided to do this Couch to 5K program and finish it on the day that I would have started it normally. Um, and that's been a bastard. I have not enjoyed it. Um, but it's like I said in a post the other day, you can really definitely learn how you can use that negative voice to push you for further to the point where I've chosen to go out running in the rain. I've, um, you know, in, when I've sort of felt like I can't do it, I've started running uphill um, and stuff like that. And I've not lost any weight. I didn't do it uh, for a physical thing. Um, it, as I say, it was a mental thing. It was, it was to sort of teach myself that I can put my mind to something and complete it um, and I kind of wanted to share that on my page because I think a lot of people um, are trying to face things and sometimes it's very difficult so try not to pick something too great to start with but you know the more you work at it and the harder you work at it and the less you listen to that bitchy voice that's telling you you can't do it and you're weak and all that that's a load of nonsense and you just need to fuck that off you can be aggressive with that. I like getting aggressive with that and just being like, nope, bollocks. And now I don't want to go out for a run today. It's too cold, blah, blah, blah. I'm going now and I'm going to make it harder. Switch my music off, run uphill, go in the rain, whatever. Um, just to show that voice that it don't know what it's talking about. Um, so yeah, anyway, I'm going to finish it here because it's bloody freezing now that I've cooled down. But um, happy new year to everybody. And I hope this has been useful in some way. See ya.